been since I've been here. A little over two weeks. Not that long, I guess, but yeah. It's nice to get back in my home park, gonna ride Mr. Freeze, which I just heard run for the first time in a couple weeks, and it sounds awesome. Gotta get on Boston, and hopefully get a redemption ride after my disastrous backseat ride last time, and also get several ma more matches on Justice League after riding two obnoxious VR dark rides, which I'll go into more detail about in just a little bit. But for now, let's go in and have an awesome time, and Ryan's gonna join me today, so let's go take a look and this up. Screaming Eagle complete. And I teased that I rode two other harder dark rides than the last time here at Six Black St. Louis. Flooded Mine at Silver Dollar City, and then Boo Blasters at Kings Island. So I'm gonna be comparing Justice League to those dark rides along with some of the other coasters that I rode at both these parks. So, Screaming Eagle, I think the obvious comparison here is Racer. I did notice that the air time on Eagle was a bit lacking, but that's because I was in the front row and I was running slow. Also, I noticed that the PTC lap bars that Screaming Eagle had were a lot larger than Racer's. And even the beast to that extent, which thinking of beast boss is what I'm comparing to the beast. So let's go over and do that. And uh, my beginning is done right on this one too. So who knows though, let's find out. Outlaw run and beast spoiled boss for me because both of those were so much more aggressive than it was today. My first ride was actually a Zen ride on it. So that was cool, but it was actually trimmed. So that was unfortunate. But yeah, the outs are also stapling. So I've seen this ride run so much better than this. And uh, Ryan Joy, what'd you think of that? It wasn't as good as Prowler. <laughs> Yeah, which you said that because he just went to Worlds of Fun a couple days ago, and uh, I'll be getting some more thoughts on uh, the rides uh, later on. But yeah, we'll uh, maybe come back to this one later because I'm sure that thing needs to warm up. It's not running fast at all today, at least for right now. Probably gonna be a bit rusty at this, but we'll see. Yeah, I was definitely a little bit out of whack on that one. I uh, still maxed it out second screen and got 731,000 with the second blaster. But Ryan, uh, you had a little bit of rough go there. I mean, yeah, my arm was like hurting when I was spamming it the whole time. My elbow was just like yeah. blocking. Yeah, it's good but for I still maxed it. So. Yeah, fifth screen though. And the first screen froze for like 10 seconds, but I kept shooting the same area. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're definitely a little bit out of whack here, as you can probably tell. But we'll get it back into the swing of things. Because we're not in peak condition. We'll get up there by the end of the night, I'm sure. I don't have to ride American Thunder to know that Mr. Freeze will be better than it for today. At least I think so. That was a uh, really solid. Got two rides, once in the front row, once in the back row. I think Ryan and I were both in agreement that front was a little better for today. You think so? The ejector coming off the top hat was better. Yeah, it was and, uh, way stronger than I remembered. And uh, that was like your first time riding the back of the train in like, what, about a month? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I know you and Ellis have been in the front right a lot lately. I don't think Ellis will be joining us, so I think it might just be us, us two today. Yeah, I think Sorry. it's just us two. Right. But uh, yeah, we, we'll probably come back here later on at some point. But I mean, that was a really solid ride there. But uh, yeah, having done Boss and Eagle, I say Freeze is definitely better than both of them. The first screen froze on us again. That unfortunately made you miss it. Well, the first, so when I did it the first time, the first screen still worked after it froze. This time it didn't work after it froze. Well, it like cut, kept like cutting different frames of the one out. I got things going there. Yeah, like uh, we were leaving the room when uh, Lex Luthor was uh, shooting the Crips and Isla Isra and Superman to capture him. So, yeah, we pretty much lost uh, a lot of the first screen. I thought we missed the chance high catch, but we somehow still knocked him down. Like, I don't know how we missed pull that one off without uh, the screen actually playing properly. So, we're gonna try that one again and uh, get a redemption right because. Uh, I just realized that means you're one for three on the first screen working for you today. That's not good, so we'll try and change that. I thought for sure we had top score of the day on our last ride, but we fell in just short of it, and they're gonna be freeze. But uh, yeah, Ryan, you said that you beat uh, the people in the back row. Combined with just the last screen. Yeah, because uh, for future reference, uh, there was an, an open blaster behind you, so you maxed it out early. And so you switched to that one and beat um, uh, the other two in the back row by, uh, I think, like more than combined. I don't know what exactly they had combined. 50,000 but... more than combined. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. In the last screen alone, mind you. Yeah. And uh, you did a really good in the first screen. What did you get? Like 570-something thousand, I think it was? 580,000. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Like, really good. Yeah. And then uh, that actually wasn't too far behind me. I think I had, like, what, 640,000 in there? 
Yeah, so like you almost overtook me there, but yeah, we uh, did really well. I maxed it out second screen, four sets of panels, which is crazy, so. And I got 270K in the second screen with the backup strap. Yeah, I think overall we are uh, on point with this now. Like the first few rides had a little rusty. I think we're back in the swing of things. Boomerang isn't operating today. They're working on the lift hill right now, so Ryan said it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah I might have not caught. caught the lift hill, which I think that could be the case, but yeah, Boomerang is. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's down for the season, honestly, even though they're working on it. are both in agreement that American Thunder is better than Mystic Timbers, but not quite as good as Prowler. Speaking of Prowler, uh, what were your overall thoughts on uh, that and uh, Mamba? Let's go with those two first. Okay, so and Zambezi oh, Zinger. Okay. Zambezi Zinger. We'll talk about that one first. That was the new one. We rode... Wait, you want Zambezi Zinger first? Yeah, go for it. Just since so, that's the new one. There are one train ops. On yeah, I've heard that was a common issue. And apparently, it's been like that since it opened. Jeez. So, that's not great. Opening day had one train. Yikes. And yeah, LS was there. He told us they had one train going on it. Uh, assigned seating, row six. Yeah, because they, they did you request a certain row or did you just go there? I just went there. I did request the back, but they, then, so now, uh, then there was, we were the next person in line to get on, and there was only one open row. Ah, so, dang. Uh, but the restraints, the trains are great. The Infinity Flyers, that's the new. Yeah, as compared to these Millennium Flyers, which is almost all my day. Um, it's a small lap bar, I'll just say that. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty cool looking train design. Yeah, I haven't really seen too many pictures of it, uh, but... The spiral lifts. Love the spiral lift. Uh, very unique. And we've both experienced the spiral lift with a Wizard at Six Flags Great America before. But uh, that was your first time experiencing one on a wooden coaster, but that was Titan Track, wasn't it? Titan Track, steel, yeah. I got like a lot of room before I started up the lift hill and then like first drop the restraint came down and then all the way through the ride it just stapled me in when I was at the end. Hey. It had pretty good air time and very wicked transitions like some of the most wicked transitions of any GCI. Alright. It's like it was it was nuts and it is my fifth favorite GCI. Nice. So. And uh, overall, do you like American Thunder or Zambezi Zinger better? American Thunder. All right, as I kind of expected. I mean, I don't know what I'll think of Zambezi Zinger. Hopefully, I get to ride it this year if I go to World of Fun's Haunt, but yeah, I'll leave for another video. We just had a breakthrough. Ryan, what'd you do? I had a third screen max. First time doing it. What did you have after the other two screens? So, so people know where you're first screen, from. I had 600,000, then canisters i had 38 638 that's 638 and yeah that's pretty much what i can get you got three that. panels close to 950 and yeah and i maxed it down in the crate yeah like you are crazy fast i mean as far as i think that uh lsb too which i did not expect but at least you got it soon after yeah very soon after but yeah who knows maybe someday we'll get a second screen max but you also get like i don't know i would have to get four panels that or you get a higher score in the first screen which is very difficult for me to do yeah, I mean, if you can get a roughly average like what I can get, you should be fine. I mean, I don't know, we got freeze going there. My average is five, 500k in the first screen. Yep. So. My average is, uh, I guess, I don't know, like 600, 700,000, something like that. Yeah, thanks. Okay, let's put it that, 650k, that's usually what I get, give or take a few thousand, but yeah. Overall, those are really nice. And actually, while he was doing that, I was uh, teaching some other people like how to go high, and I was giving them like a crash course on Justice League, which, I will be making that video on how to max it out, but I think it'll be over the offseason, I think. So, yeah, that was uh, really solid. I think we're gonna go try Boss again now, see if it's warmed up compared to earlier, which was not running great. Brian rode Zulu at Worlds of Fun, and he wants to ride Supergirl Skyflyer to compare it to that. And while we're waiting for this, Ryan, what were your thoughts on Prowler and Mamba? We never got those earlier. 
So I rode Mamba. That was the first ride I did at Worlds of Fun was Mamba and back road trimless. That thing knocks my socks off compared to Steel Force. Yep, that's my opinion exactly. Uh, the whole second half was ejector. Yeah. And the first Camelback was really good. Really? Like, I thought it was one of the weaker elements on the ride. No, it was Steel Force, like, gave, like, barely any airtime on yeah. the first Camelback. Mamba, if you're in the front, the whole time you get airtime. Yeah, I don't remember getting much airtime, even though I rode Mamba from So, the, the pop into the mid course and the pop into the brakes is really good, too. Yeah, I agree with that. What did you think about the far helix of the ride? Did you gray out? No, but it was really? very intense. I grayed out there. For Prowler, I rode it the first time and I was just like, eh. Yeah, I was kind of like that too. I was just like, is it, is it that good? And then I rode it eight more times. So I rode it nine times in total. And it's my second favorite GCI solidly. And for future reference, what is uh, your favorite? So people know. Thunderhead and Dollywood. Yep. Thunderhead is my second favorite GCI, and Prowler's my first, so we have them both switched. I kind of figured you like Thunder maybe a little bit more, but I don't know. Part of me kind of thought Prowler might have uh, pulled an upset. But I think it's safe to say uh, Prowler is a uh, second best ride there for you. Second best ride. Uh, the funny thing about Prowler is that final turn was rumbling like crazy. Yeah, that's just, just like aggressive. the whole yeah. time. And but I, I didn't think it was that big of an issue. Definitely one of the rougher GCIs I think I've been on, but didn't bother me too much. But, and then Mama is your top right there, correct? Mama's top right there, yeah. Yep. I'll get his thoughts on the other rides here once it rides Supergirl. I just found out that they're going to be closing Boss around 3 o'clock today because they're going to be opening Thunder River here shortly. So Supergirl and Boss will be closing early. And uh, that means I'm going to go ride it once more. And actually I'll ride it with Ryan once he gets off, but I also want to do a Rookie Racer construction update to see what's changed because there's been some serious stuff here as of late. Same thing about Batman like I did about Banshee last time I wrote this in 2022. Batman I found to be way more intense than Banshee, but I still like Banshee more because the layout is more unique. Ryan just wrote a Patriot a couple days ago and he was going to compare this to Batman. Which do you think is better? Oh, I think Batman's better. And actually, before we wrote this, he had Patriot ranked mode. I'm like, what? Okay, uh... Batman's going to change that. And then literally, back row, those corkscrews are just demented. Absolutely absurd. And also, it's way more intense. Like, jeez. The drop was a lot better, I thought, this time as well. But, uh, yeah. For some reason, it was really intense when I was there. It was forceless for me. Like, I got nothing out of I it. I don't know if the rain did something to it or they something. They could have, but I don't know. It was, you know those, like, white flecks you get in, the, in your vision sometimes? Sometimes, I guess. Like, that was happening the whole ride for me. Yeah, that doesn't happen to me very often, but... Yeah, Patriot, I think, is nowhere near as good as Batman. And also, you rode uh, Supergirl a little bit ago. How does it compare to Zulu? I like Zulu better. Right, because uh, Zulu strange. was like what the old Highland Fling used to be. Before and we got replaced. I missed the Highland Fling. <laughs> yeah, I rode that one a few times when I was growing up, but I only rode Supergirl once, and it was last year. So, yeah, I don't feel the need to ride that again anytime soon, honestly, unless I get a really weird urge to do so, but. Yeah, me neither. I don't think I need to ride it again. Yeah. But uh, overall, I would say Batman is a little weaker than Banshee, but that's because Banshee is just such a unique ride experience in general. Batman is overall solid regardless.
most recent ride on Mr. Freeze was up front. It was uh, really solid. I would say, I don't know, like on par with our ride earlier, what'd you say? What'd you think about it? I thought it was better because I had more room this yeah, time. Yeah, I had the uh, same amount of room as before. But yeah, I didn't really notice too much of a difference in the ride. And then you did American Thunder backseat. Unfortunately, that didn't go yeah, well. Yeah, all right, I jammed my restraint down. Yeah, so stay yeah, full. stay full. Yeah, that's unfortunate when that happens a lot of the time, but yeah, that's unfortunate. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go try Ninja now. Oh, just butterfly, it scared me. Oh boy, there it goes. Monarch. Monarch butterfly. Yep. See him right there. Yeah, I don't want to mess with him by accident, so. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go try Ninja out now because Ryan really wants to try it. I mean, I don't mind doing it. But... I just want to try it because I haven't, I think I've only done it once or twice this year. So. Yeah, something like that. And one of the times was like when you and I rode it back in April. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll go try that. And actually, I'll get your thoughts on uh, Timberwolf and uh, Spinning Dragons. Spinning Dragons, yeah, on the way up there. Or when we got there, I should say. Ninja is pretty much a walk on at this point. So, uh, Ryan, you actually never gave more thoughts on Patriot. What were you, you saying about it? Uh, so, my first ride on it was in the front row. I thought it was going to be the weakest invert I've ever ridden. It was like terrible. And it freaking ran like a train, and it was just like... Like a train. It, it freaking hauled through the layout, the whole thing. It was just hauling, and airtime was great. On the horses were hill. good. I don't know what was wrong with it, and then three rides later, it's my third favorite. Or, no. Fourth, fourth favorite. favorite. Well, because the uh, Batman over there dethroned it. Yeah, fourth favorite. But, yeah, I don't get the hype of Patriot. Some people are going to hate me for this, but it was more forceful than Montu. Oh. Oh, that's a controversial take right there. That's like the best fan I've ever played versus the worst fan I've ever heard. And I heavily disagree with you on so, that So yeah, Montu was just a dud when I wrote it. And I, yeah. don't know, I don't know why, but it It's probably because you only rode during the winter. And last time you were there, it was down. But his Montu is like my Kumba. It completely forces every single time for me. Yeah, but, I don't know why this year G roll like popped me out of the seat and then whipped me through it. I didn't really notice that when I wrote Patriot. Then again, it's been, uh, I think I last rode it under a year ago. Here though, so I did go to Haunt, and uh, we got Ninja coming out right now. Yeah, we're gonna see how this one is, and uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Yeah, let's see how this rides. She's well, she's 34 years old. Hey, Joe, you're right. I don't know. Bye-bye. Ninja, honestly, one of the best rides of the day. That was like actually quite good. What do you think? Very forceful and smooth. Surprisingly, yeah. I was uh, not expecting it to be as smooth as it was. The Grand have only written it like what? I think two other times a season before this. Yeah. And so. It was, it was yeah. Awesome. I yeah, was, it really was like like a sidewinder transition wasn't even that bad. Like it kind of reminded me of our uh, that ride we got back in October. It was like smooth and yeah. forceful. That moved up in my list to like. 150 range. So. Yeah, it's running really good today. Yeah. Low key better than Boss, honestly. Like, Boss was not running good earlier this morning. And uh, we can't ride again because they closed it early because they needed people to operate Thunder River. So that's why uh, Boss is closed. And also, uh, while waiting for the train ahead of us to complete the route, we were watching the lights on the control panel about all the like the blocks and stuff. <laughs> like, we were so enthusiastic right there. It was also like so weird to see like the lights to go from like lift slash block cleared uh trim break or whatever the heck it was it was just nuts so we're gonna go check out screaming eagle now and hopefully that line has died down because we tried to ride it earlier and the line was down pretty much the whole ramp and it's on one train so that's at least an hour away probably but we'll just see if it's died down the line for screaming eagle has died down a considerable amount so we're gonna give it another try and uh ryan the closest thing you would compare this to would be timberwolf what'd you think of that ride i don't think about it so first ride rode second to back it was really good then i rode front row at night and it was amazing there was a couple of ejector hills in that but That's one was a death hill though oh, one boy. was a death hill and it launched me like crazy yeah i mean if you're in front run timberwolf you probably don't want to talk about but you know what that was like 
basically there's one hill after the trim break, after the, where the old helix used to be, you know that? Well, a little bit, right, where the trim break is? Yeah. That dips down a little bit, and then it goes up and over this crazy sharp hill, like it violent and jumped, like, you can make an argument, honestly, for it being the strongest session moment in the park. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous, and the first time I wrote it, it left me speechless, I did not expect it coming. And it reminded me of the little dip out of the helix on American Eagle at Six Flags Great America, and I really like that moment. It's one of my favorite episode moments out there, so I was really impressed by that death pill on Timberwolf, and, uh, it was really solid. I actually do prefer that to Patriot for third best of the park because Timberwolf back got some decent force, but Patriot didn't really do anything for me. So that's my verdict on uh, Timberwolf. Uh, spinning Dragons now, what do you think of that? The operations are terrible on it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the that's one thing. That's the uh, one thing that Spread has, or Pandemonium has over that, is they run multiple cars. Spinning Dragons does not. That's why I like Pandemonium better. I just agree with that. Operations, and I've actually gotten some good rides of Pandemonium. Had to wait 70 minutes for Spinning Dragons. Mm. Yeah, that's why you want to rope drop it, but he tried to rope drop it, it was close. Close. Tried to rope drop Zambezi Zinger, that was close. So then I had to do them later in the day, and both were 70 minute waits. Yikes. So. So that's unfortunate. I personally uh, prefer spinning dragon mainly because I actually got some decent spinning on it, and that was uh, both times were Pandemonium that rarely spins for me, no matter how off balance the car may be. So spinning dragons, in my opinion, is definitely better than Pandemonium. I still what? like their boomerang better than ours. So going forward was completely fine. Oh yeah, we're on the boomerang now. Last yeah, coaster here, boomerang. we lost boomerang front row was really good going forwards and going backwards. It was rough as can be. Oh was, yikes! It so was, was like both extreme ends of the spectrum there. Yeah, my head was uh, not thanking me after that. Right. Yeah. I rode it first time in the second and back, and it was whatever. And then I did front, it wasn't too much better. I mean, then again, I rode front during haunt, and I did back in the summer, so maybe front in summer is the best way to do it, but I don't know. All I know is uh, their boomerang was, eh, mid tier for me. I think second weakest there, I would uh, take that over spinning dragons, because it actually has a decent force to it. There's definitely no invertigo, which that would be the ride I would compare World's Fun's boomerang to. And uh, it said, said that invertigo absolutely destroys really, really any boomerang I've done to be when you think about it. I mean, granted, I have not done Aftershock yet, and I can see that being. In Vertigo, honestly, but I actually don't know that now that I think about it. But if you had to rank all the coasts of World's Fun, how would you rank them? Mamba, Prowler, Zambezu Zinger, Patriot. Timberwolf, Spinning Dragons, Boomerang. Neither of us have done Cosmic Coaster, so. Because you need a kid to ride it. Yeah, I think I tried to ride it during Haunted, so I'm randomly testing it, like, in the evening. I'm like, wait, are they gonna open this thing back up? So I went over there, they said they weren't gonna open it, so that's unfortunate. But yeah, we're gonna try Screaming Eagle now and see how that compares to Timberwolf. <laughs> That's one, two clears, and you're out of here. Enjoy your ride on the Screaming Eagle. We did Screaming Eagle, second to back row. That was way better than my ride up front this morning. The airtime was uh, ridiculous, and uh, you said you got a decent amount of room on it. So, back in the back row, blue train, left, left side. side. where he was, yeah. That's the best right, best seat on the coaster. Yeah, because I saw the restraint, like, his was an extra click up of mine, and that was the lowest point. Like, his lowest point was a click up of mine, but my lowest point. So, yeah, I saw you were flying on a lot of the drops. And it was running ridiculously good. Smooth, too. Yeah, I was surprised by how smooth it was running, because, uh, if we ride the back of the red train, that's not the not case. Great. It's rough back there on that one. But yeah, blue train running really smooth today. And overall, it was a, I would say, second best coaster ride here of the day after Freeze, would you say? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go try Freeze back row again, because uh, we're heading down this direction anyway. So let's go do it. That last one was way too close for comfort. I don't know if it's because the blaster wasn't working or it was more likely a skill issue to be honest because I wasn't hitting the trigger as well and therefore it wasn't registering. But then again, even when I did get into the rhythm shooting the trigger repeatedly, it like didn't register a shot every now and then. So I think it might have been a little bit of both, but I'm more leaning about it was more of a skill issue. So yeah, whatever. At least I got it though. Also, the last ride that I got on Mr. Freeze was excellent and it was rivaling that in the front because Brian and I did back row again. and it was really good. Tom over at Shazam is giving me a headache. He's like, Jack, you need to go home. And I'm like, uh, no, I ain't just going home until the park closes, bud. So, oh man, Tom is amazing. Did we see him at any of these rides is operating? We just said uh, Justice League, Shazam, and sometimes Colossus. 
tell him he's doing a good job because the man really does put a lot of hard work into the ride. So he deserves a compliment. So if it's damn, tell him he's doing a good job. He's got good work. Two double maxes to end my night. And the last one I got last second in the fist grade. So I barely made it, which that's awesome. And uh, yeah, overall today was a really solid day to be back here at my home park after not being here for about two weeks. So I'll review my ride count and uh, report what I did today. My final ride count from today was 17 on Justice League, four on Mr. Freeze, three on Boss, two on Scream and Eagle, and then one on American Thunder, Batman, and Ninja. Ryan, what did you do? And actually, what did you do during the last hour of the night? Last hour of the night, got two rides on Ninja with some, those two kids that were uh, here from Maryland who are doing amusement Oh yeah, that's right, we ran into them with Mr. Freeze, I forgot about that. Yeah, we never featured them before. Two rides on Ninja, two rides on, Pan or, uh, on Batman. Batman. So, um, all right, and what else did you get for so, overall? In, in total, Three yeah. rides on Batman, three rides on Ninja, four on Mr. Freeze, one on Boss, one on Screaming Eagle, eight on Justice League. And what about American Thunder? They did, uh, they did, I did two on American yeah, Thunder. That. But uh, overall, uh, really solid day. Uh, I think, uh, well, hold on, highlights. I don't know what my favorite part of the day was. I mean, Eagle in the back was really good, uh, Freeze was running good, and then the double max I got the other night of Justice League were awesome. What was your favorite ride of the day? Do you have one? Probably first front row ride on Freeze getting back on that thing. Oh yeah, Freeze was ridiculous. Uh, front row was a fun getting back on Freeze and yeah, Freeze, freeze beats Prowler. Yeah. So I almost said Freeze beats everything. Well, it's fun. I just realized Mamba exists. And I do prefer that to Mr. Freeze. Yeah, I prefer Mamba too. But yeah, Mamba's just ridiculous. So I hope to get back there to haunt. We'll get back to haunt later this year to ride. I should say. So you might see me there too. Doubt it. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I mean, we never know. I mean, we could be teasing something, we could help you. I mean, I generally don't know what con is happening at this point. So yeah, that'll be it for another video. And before you click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video, and be sure to share it with someone else you know. If you're new to this channel like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks and beach. Check out there as well via the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later.